Hey, it's Matt. Today we're talking about databases. I'm going to explain briefly what a database is and then how you can add one to your Replit app. So at a high level, a database is just anything that's used to store data. Uh, but often in full stack applications or web apps, we use what's known as a relational database. In a relational database, you can think about like a, a spreadsheet. There are rows and columns and each column corresponds to some to some details about the row. Um, and what makes it relational is that there are different tables or different kind of spreadsheets that can connect to each other through some integer. So let's look at an example. Here's a uh, Replit app. This is my guest book. Um, and you can see I have a database that's connected. Um, and this is thanks to our partners at Neon. They provide really awesome databases and they make it easy for us to implement. And so we have uh, guest book entries, which is a table. And this is, again, my guest book. Uh, and you can see there's a name and a message. Um, and each row kind of corresponds to one entry. Uh, and so if we go to um, the guest book itself, um, you can see uh, there are messages with those names and entries. And we're storing them in this table. And why are we doing that? Well, we're doing it because um, if there wasn't a persistent way of storing data, every time my app restarted or if it crashed or something, we would lose all of the data. So having this separate entity where we can store data allows us to persistently or you know, persist data across sessions, across applications. I could access this database from another app um, or store additional data in it, et cetera. So you probably understand why we might want to have a database now. How do we add a database in Replit? Well, there are a couple ways to do that. The easiest is going to be to build an app with Agent and let it add a database for you. So um, if you're creating a new app and you say, hey, help me create a note-taking app with a Postgres database when you're building with Replit Agent, Agent's going to be able to add the database, tie in all the details and connect it to your application. Easy as that. Um, if you've already started building an app with Agent, so you're like in the middle of building something, you can also say, hey, I want to store XYZ data in a database. Can you add one? Super easy. The second way is that if you create a Replit app, so this is just a brand new app that I created from a template, at any time you can go into the database tool from the workspace and click create a database. Just like asking Agent, this is going to spin up a new serverless Postgres. So don't worry about it if you don't know what Postgres is. It's just a relational database. Postgres instance from our partners at Neon who do this really well. Um, and just like that, I have a database. So you can see here there are no tables. Um, the cool thing, if you're looking to connect to the database, um, is that you can go into your secrets and you'll see that we just store all the connection details. So if you've built with databases before, you understand how to use a database URL or database connection credentials, you can access those here and actually connect to them not only from within Replit, but from anywhere, from your desktop, from online, et cetera. It's really cool. Um, now, the other thing I want to call out, because this is a really awesome Neon database, we also have a uh, restore functionality. So at any time, you can jump to uh, a timestamp uh, from your database. So like, oh, what was my database last week, you know, <laughs> at 5 p.m. Um, from at any time, you can jump to a specific timestamp, an exact snapshot in time of your database within the last seven days. And that's actually configurable. You can also change the number of days. Um, but, right, uh, maybe something that, that you want to do is just create this database manually and then build with assistant. So you could say, hey, assistant, stand me up a database, implement this stuff. Um, so, that's what databases are. That's how they work on Replit. When you deploy, we use the existing database that's connected to your application. We're not creating a separate instance. So currently there are one database, there is one database instance that you use across development and deployment. Um, that's how databases work on Replit. You can create them from agent. You can create them man manually. They're serverless Postgres databases powered by Neon. Um, if you're not using them, you don't get billed for usage. Um, they can scale up or down infinitely. Really great stuff. But I'm Matt. This has been Databases on Replit. Until next time, peace.